Hello, this is Nick with Nick'sComputerFix.com and CoolestJeepLaptops.com. Today I want to give you a short video on a few Windows 8 uh, tips. And uh, this is the consumer preview version. Okay, uh, to begin with, tip number one. When you're on the Metro interface screen here, um, you can right click with your mouse if you're using a mouse and a keyboard on a desktop computer or a laptop. Right click on an empty space and it brings up this ribbon down below here in my case it's green the green ribbon and then on the uh, it brings up this little app uh, or icon uh, a circle with the uh, white bricks and it's called all apps if you click on that it takes you directly and gives to the apps screen and uh, also um, allows you to access any of your applications or your Windows accessories or your Windows ease of access or Windows system tools um, very quickly here on the app screen and to get back to your Metro interface press your um, Windows key on your keyboard or you can go to the left hand corner of the screen here and you see you have a mini uh, version of the Metro interface um, you click on that and that takes you right back to um, the Metro interface Tip number two, uh, one of the nice things about the Metro interface is that you can also customize it. Um, and a few things you can do to make that happen is, for instance, um, if I wanted the Xbox Live Games um, icon to be bigger, I can right click on it, go down to the ribbon cable down below here, the green ribbon cable, and click on larger, and then enlarges the um, application to the uh, a large size. There's only two sizes, small and large, and certainly you can play with that and make some changes on the Metro interface. Now, um, also you can move it around. I can move it around, grab it and drag it and put it in a different position, and I can also turn around and right click and make it smaller again and put it back up in a different position as well. So uh, you get some flexibility there and uh, and uh, you're able to personalize it with a few um, um, personalizations or customizations. And uh, oh, real quick, I want to show you like um, if you right click, you can also un uninstall the application completely or um, you can go ahead and unpin it from this start menu. Okay, the next tip. Um, if you move your mouse over to the right hand corner, um, you'll get this um, this little toolbar here. Gives you uh, the ability to search, share, start devices and settings. And if we click on search, brings up the apps and an app search uh, command line and if I type start typing something in like C for the control panel it takes me brings up the control panel and I can access the control panel um, very quickly I think that's pretty cool okay um, the next item would certainly be um, let's go back over to our tools and uh, on the share um, it says start can't share select an app and try again so I'm gonna have to select an application I'm gonna go to the Metro interface and I'm gonna go ahead and open up uh, Internet Explorer I'll go out to um, the internet yahoo.com and now if I want to click on share I can share that internet page that link www.yahoo.com in this case I can share it via a, uh, a mail application alright um, the next item which would be um, on this tool uh, bar would be at any given time I can click on start and that takes me back to the Metro interface Okay, the next item on the toolbar on the side here is devices, but before I click on devices, um, I have to have an application open that I can send to a device. Um, I'm going to open up Internet Explorer here, and this uh, web page I can now send to a device, so I'll go over to the toolbar again, down to devices, and at this point I can send that web page to my printer if I click on my printer the brother laser printer 2170 I have installed I can actually send or print uh, that web page to my printer and uh, in a second you'll we'll be able to see a preview of that web page there we go and I could click on print and print right to it okay that's it for devices okay the next item 
on the toolbar here is settings. You can click on settings and the first thing that you come up with is uh, start which doesn't do anything. Um, settings, obviously settings with settings. Okay, we click on settings and it says uh, show administrator tools, yes or no. You can change that back and forth there and if it's yes, it shows the uh, administrator tools and utilities on the app screen and if you say no it doesn't. Um, also you can clear the personal info from uh, my titles by hit clicking on clear there. Okay, let's go to the next item. Help is self-explanatory. Um, the next item is the wireless uh, network that I'm connected to and if I click on that I can see um, available networks that I can connect to and I can also right click on any of them and get a properties uh, show set forget turn and view connection properties. Okay, um, the next item is going to be um, um, the volume for the speakers. You can adjust it there and uh, if I had a, a display installed with some software that allowed me to adjust my display brightness I could do it here. Um, notifications, yes or no. Um, power, shut down, um, shut down or restart. You can do that from here. Shut down or restart your PC. Okay, the next tip I want to talk about is uh, your PC settings in Windows 8. And you can access them through this toolbar over here. And we go down to settings. And we come down to the bottom here and we more PC settings is what we click on. And then we have an opportunity to make some changes here. Um, first one on the list is personalize. You can uh, change the um, the uh, image or the picture photo on the lock screen, the start screen, and the account picture. And uh, you can also take a picture, create an account picture with this app with the webcam. You take a shot, so that's pretty cool. All right, the next item would be users. You can uh, certainly switch to a Microsoft account, change your uh, password, create a picture password, and also um, you can see down here you can add a user as well and create a pin up here. All right, notifications. Um, over here you can show apps, notifications. You can turn it on or you can turn it off depending on how you want that uh, to be uh, uh, customized. You can also play uh, notification sounds. You can turn that off and, and back on also. And right now um, these apps are, uh, um, are set up for notifications. Okay, I'm over to search. On the search, we can uh, on the we can delete history on the search, and uh, we can also save my searches for future search suggestions and show apps that I search most often at the top. I change the order. Um, use these apps to search. I can turn these on and off. Okay, let's go over to share, and on share we have the um, number or show a list of how I share most often and uh, I can turn that on and off and I can do the uh, change the default from five items in the list to as many as nine and I can clear the list and show apps I use most often at the top and also use these apps to share right now um, what is defined is the mail client to be used as a share and uh, let's go over to um, an app here I'll show you how this is working and we'll go to Internet Explorer and I'm going to share this and so if I go over here on the toolbar and go down and click on share um, you can see that the mail client is showing up as a application to share this uh, this internet uh, link with so I can send www.yahoo.com through the mail client here and share it with um, somebody else okay um, let's go back over to our, uh, our PC settings here and I believe that was it. Notice how I used the left side um, items or pictures to to get back into this application here to PC settings. You know you just go to the left side and size and these are all the application or the apps that I presently have open or I can also go down and click on the start to go back to the Metro interface. Okay um, and we just talked about share um, in general with time you can change your time and uh, certainly um, which zone that you are living in you can switch that around app switching delete history spelling language and uh, certainly a few other items here. Reset your PC and start over. All right, um, let's go to privacy and privacy let apps use my um, location and privacy statement. So, you know, that's pretty self explanatory there. And um, devices, um, as far as devices are concerned, I've got. Um, uh, I got the 802.11 wireless here, and I got an HP L1730 um, that's my monitor and 1700 
and uh, Logitech USB keyboard and uh, mouse and uh, document writer, Microsoft XPS document writer. Okay, so I can meter internet connections also. I can turn that on and off. Ease of access, that's pretty, so, uh, pretty much self-explanatory. You can turn those on and off and certainly uh, show uh, you know the uh, number of seconds for notification for those. Okay, sync for settings. Um, you have to switch to a Microsoft account to change these settings. I'm not going to go too much into these. Uh, certainly when you have an opportunity and you're using Windows 8, check them out. And uh, Home Group. Um, home Group is only available on Home Network. Presently, I don't have Windows 8 hooked into my Home Network. Um, eventually I will, but right now I don't. And uh, certainly you can change sharing settings once you're connected into a Home Group. And you can also, um, Windows um, Update here, Okay, um, it'll go out and check to see if there's any Windows updates, and also if you have Windows Update um, automatically set up for um, automatic updates, it'll certainly uh, tell you that. So let's see him watch that for a few seconds. There we go. You're set to automatically install updates, and I can certainly manually set uh, check for Microsoft updates if I chose to. Okay, that's it for Windows 8 tricks and tips and how tos.